Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our automation testing with Playwright, Puppeteer and Corsept.js course. And in this video we are going to talk about Playwright tidbit and in this tidbit we are going to talk about file uploading. We have already discussed about the file upload code with Puppeteer with a sample website and we also performed how we can upload a file using the code something like this. So we use the file chooser option and we waited for the file chooser option to appear and then we pass the file to upload and then we saw how the accept method uploaded the file for us into that particular website. That's how we saw in the puppeteer section of this course. But the same kind of code if you try to use within Playwright, the code is not going to basically work because there is no way that even you can wait for a file chooser to appear. Rather, there is another option in Playwright to do the same kind of operation, something like this. You can call the set input files method of Playwright to actually pass the file name and then you can upload the file using just this particular command. But you can see in the code we have created a handle of the page with the type of file. So wherever you have a page of the type as file only then you can actually set the input file and then it will upload the file for you over there pretty much like selenium using the send keys method which does the exact same operation and that's exactly how we can do using playwright as well so let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work so for that i'm gonna flip to my visual studio code ide all right so this is my visual studio code and this is the project which you can actually see from the code that you can download from lecture number 73 so from here, I download this Udemy playwright.zip file and then I'm starting to work from here. So as you can see, the version that we are currently using in this particular code is 0 0.11.1. But right now, so many things have again changed in the playwright world. So you can see the time while we recorded this particular course video, we were in 0 0.11, which was a pretty new version during the time it was released. And you can see it has went all the way long to uh, this particular version, which was a new API. It was the first time the Puppeteer itself was released kind of thing. It was very, very stable by then once, once they released it. So now many things have changed and you can see within over here, the Puppeteer itself has went through version number 1.0.2. So, so many things have changed in this particular version. As you can see, this is released like 10 days ago and it has support of Chromium 84, Mozilla Firefox 76 and WebKit 13.0.4 and it has got many different features. And the one thing which I would really like to show you is this particular playwright.dev page which is also released as a part of 0 0.17.0 release, this one. So you can see within this particular page you can search for the uh, APIs that you're looking for based upon the versions as well. So the current version, as you can see in here, if you're trying to search for what is called as wait for a file, you can see there is no such thing. Uh, but if you go to the Puppeteer page, this one, pptr.dev, where you can search for wait for file, you can see there is a wait for file chooser option and it has all the details. So this is the same kind of code that we did in our Puppeteer, but over here for the Playwright, there is no such method. So basically, even though Playwright and Puppeteer are kind of same, but still the APIs are kind of different because Playwright is now maintained by Microsoft and there are some changes based upon the APIs. Well, as that said, the file chooser option over here within this particular Playwright, it, it has a class, something like this, and it has a method something like element is multiple page and set file so you can use this kind of option as well like pretty much like page dot on a file chooser set the file like this or like the code which i showed you on the slide just before so we are going to do the code that i just showed you on the slide so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new file i'm going to call this as file upload dot js and over here i'm going to start writing the file upload code so for doing that, I'm actually going to copy paste some of the code from the Puppeteer section that we have written the code, something like this. As you can see, this is Puppeteer. But instead of the Puppeteer, because the Puppeteer itself is uh, not installed, I'm actually going to use what is called as Playwright, like that. And then I'm just going to change this to 
playwright right and also before I forget I also need to change the version from 0 0.11.1 .1, which is pretty older version I guess I'm just gonna use the latest version which is version 1.0 this one so I'm just gonna save it and now I'm gonna open a terminal and then I'm gonna do npm install oops it seems like I need to run this one in an admin mode and then I'm gonna open the UW puppet here so right now it's in an admin mode and now I'm just trying to run the npm install and now I'm just gonna go over to our file upload.js file and I'm gonna start changing the code a bit pretty much like how we used to do in our earlier videos so instead of the puppeteer.launch I'm just gonna change this to playwright dot uh, let's say I'm gonna use Firefox I'm just gonna choose the Firefox dot launch like that and then I'm just gonna leave all these code as it is but because this file chooser doesn't really exist even you can see it's showing us as any because there is no such thing I'm just gonna remove this particular piece of code because this code is not gonna work anyways for us rather i'm just gonna use what is called as the latest way of coding uh, which is supported in this particular uh, library something like this so i'm just gonna put the dollar and i know there is an input type so i'm just gonna use the input of type file like that and then i'm gonna use a wait keyword for the handle to set the input files so here is where I'm actually gonna select or pass the input file which I'm gonna upload. So let's say I'm gonna upload a file, something like this. Uh, and maybe we need to change the directives slash a bit. And that's it. This is the only code change for the file upload in Playwright. So I'm just gonna save this guy. And now I'm just going to run this code and let's see how it actually works. So I'm just gonna put node of file upload.js and you can see it open the Firefox browser for me and oops it says the network idle 2 I'm sorry about that because we should not use in puppeteer like this so we're gonna use something like this it's not network idle 2 it's network idle uh, in playwright I just copy pasted the code and that's the reason the issue is happening And there we go you can see that it is now uploading the file ea.jpg for us as what we have specified in this particular location so this is how we can perform a file upload using playwright in a much much easier fashion so this is the only code change that you need to make to make this happen so if you are wondering why your file upload code is not working in playwright then this is the only reason for this to happen so once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day